respected dear family members my pranams to you we in hindu dharma sanatana dharma always chant three shanti words after every vedic mantra om shanti 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 <coughs> the first shanti is known as adhyatmika shanti in which internal peace of every individual is expected or prayed internal shanti adhyatmika shanti is the first shanti second shanti is adi bhautika shanti the shanti surrounding us shanti in our family shanti in our office shanti or peace wherever we are working wherever we are performing our mission action and so on and adhi devata shanti that is the cosmic peace that is the shanti needed around us all those who are connected with the celestial phenomena the shanti of wind ocean mountains the sun the moon the clouds and so on so adhyatmika shanti i am praying that there should be shanti peace within my body and mind there should be peace around me in my family and in my office and so on adi bhautika shanti adi devata shanti all the external parameters connected with the environment the atmosphere whatever can affect me including the moon including the sun the wind the monsoon the forest the mountains they are all known as adhi devata shanti all these shanti are needed for the shanti of an individual for me for me to exist in this world peacefully i need peace within me i need peace externally i mean i need peace all around the world now you see if somebody is sitting in the home in iraq in iraq he cannot peacefully sit in his home because his whole country is burning as long as iraq is burning surrounding countries cannot have peace within their home or outside so this is what we always pray individual consciousness social consciousness and cosmic consciousness should exist in the peaceful way so om shanti 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 individual consciousness social consciousness and cosmic consciousness where if all the three are complementary to each other if all the three are cooperating each other if all the three are coexisting each other without conflicting without contradicting without confusing that society will remain in a peaceful condition that society where adhyatmika shanti adi bhautika shanti and adi devata shanti individual consciousness and social consciousness with the cosmic consciousness exist complementary that society will always flourish you can see in hindu dharma and also in all the religions developed from hindu dharma we always pray that sahana avavadu sahana ubhanatu sahavidyam karva avahai tejasvi navadhi tamastu let us all exist together no we never said that my god is the only good god my god is the only god through which you can attain salvation my book is the only book my pathway is the only correct pathway 
they are only individual consciousness existed social consciousness get contradicted with the individual consciousness why it is said so my god is correct means your god is wrong my pathway only is correct means your pathway is wrong and my my book is the only book which is correct your book is wrong means the individual consciousness and social consciousness get contradicted conflicted and confused this is not what is happening in the world you can see in the society generally every animal will be living together in the cosmic system you can see all the planets uh, revolve around their own pathway they never contradict the planets never contradict never collide the stars never collide each other and in a forest if you are taking the plants coexist cooperate and complement each other and in the animal system if you are going through the animal planet channel you can see that majority of the animals never contradict each other and never conflict each other whether it is lion or tiger or a panther or an a ferocious um, meat eating animal it may be killing another animal only for its food not for the sake of killing you can see in the semitic religion particularly in islam and christian all the wars were fought either between these two religion group or among themselves in fact the first world war and second world war were the fight between the christian groups majority of the christian groups in europe <clears throat> america england canada and other country fought each other for their supremacy for their supremacy not for the for complementing the existence of the human being or animals or planets on the surface of the globe earth so you can see i and you should coexist aham brahmasmi tat brahma tamasi i am the manifestation of the divine power you are also the manifestation of divine power so i and you should exist in the world as complementary to each other never contradictory to each other vishwam bhavatyega nidam just like the <clears throat> birds do live in a in a small nest without fighting each other like that in this world all 1.6 million type of animals should exist with the four lakhs type of plants and 80000 types of trees so in all the vedic mantra we say we pray dvipade sam chatushpade <coughs> all the animals having two legs all the animals having four legs they should share care and cure each other that is what the nature wants <clears throat> whereas the bible gives you the information that all the animals all the plants and everything created by the god will come under the rule of the human being so the human being can kill anyone and kill anything he can enjoy and he considers as the supreme authority of whatever is presenting in this world now it so happened one of the lic agent in vadakanjeri lic office as uh, she said i am a christian god has told her to we christians that we can kill any animal and eat so you hindus do not have the permission to eat any animal or plant but we christians have given by the god full permission to kill any animal any plant or anything and eat this in fact is the is the most important issue where the problem got created on the surface of the globe earth uh, what i am telling to you is not my invention or my discovery this has been proved beyond a doubt by a group of california university psychologist why one group of religion is always prone to terrorism why terrorism evolve in a particular religion you know which religion it is there wherever they exist nowadays particularly in the 21st century 
people look to that religious people with a doubt and suspicion. Why it happens, you know? Because that religion is always prone to, always prone to terrorism. And you know, <clears throat> the greatest unity has been demonstrated by that Islam during the Hajj period, the Muslims from more than 140 countries assemble in one location without <clears throat> any law and order situation. Such a level of unity is present in Islam. Still you can see that that particular legion is the epicenter of terrorism in the world. These are not my words. Is explained by different people in different books. Why it is happening? Only reason is that Islam advocates only Allah is correct, only my religion is correct, only my prophet is correct, only my pilgrim center is correct, only my pathway is correct. In earlier days, when Christianity was spreading throughout the world by cooks and crooks, Inquisitions were going on and torturing was going on as Francis Xavier, Saint Francis Xavier, who appears to be a murderer who has converted thousands and thousands of Christ Hindus into Christianity and that murder was done for those uh, who did not uh, uh, did not wanted to convert them from Hinduism to Christianity. So here the Christians, Christians now developed group, they rejected the Bible only because in the Bible it has been explained throughout right from the Genesis till the end of the Old Testament. The God tells, I am the only God. You should worship only me. You should not worship other gods. If you worship other gods, you will be punished. And you are up to the fourth generation will be annihilated if you are worshipping other gods. And God just um, erased of many countries where other culture existed. Whether other god worship existed. And the god was so narrow minded and he was provocating the terrorism. Why it is so? Because the individual consciousness of the Christians and the social consciousness of the Christians and the cosmic consciousness of the system. <coughs> so, individual consciousness of the Christian means the Christians and the Muslims, the Semitic religious people always think my religion is correct, my God is correct, my, my book is correct and you my book is correct, my God is correct, that is okay. But you are ill wrong and you should come to my religion. Otherwise, we will bring you from your religion to our religion so that the God's mission will be fulfilled. I am killing you because God has told that those who are worshipping other gods should be killed. The, the temples of other gods should be crushed and the pathway of other god worship should be should be blocked by any way. That will be the god's uh, attitude. So naturally that is advocated to the people. So in Hindu Dharma, you can see when Muslims came here, invaded, butchered and plundered all the temples and majority, many Hindus. We still accommodated the Muslims as part of our society. The Christians through Portuguese, Spain, French, Dutch, then Christians came here and we welcomed them. And when the Parsis came, we welcomed them. The Jews lived peacefully only in India. You can see the the neo-Christians who converted from Hinduism to Christianity in Kerala and in India, even those Christians never tolerated the existence of Jews in India. Jews came from Israel to India. They lived in different parts of Kerala and Goa. But the Christians always wanted to 
kill the Jews from Israel. Remember that the Christians of Kerala, they did not come from other places. They are neo-Christians who got converted from Hinduism to Christianity. But the moment they converted to Christianity, you can see that they wanted to give revenge towards the Jews, just like Hitler. And even the Hindu kings of the Cochin state protected the Jews. Protected the Jews. And the king gave the place within his palace the location for building the Jews synagogue and so on. So the Israeli people were protected by, by Indian Hindus. Whereas Indian Christians wanted to kill the the Israeli Jews in Indian soil. So remember, this is the attitude of uh, the Christianity and Islam to propagate, to spread their religion through which the number of their religion followers should be increased. This one should increase. So we Hindus should be proud to say that we never cheated anybody, we never followed the fraud, the treachery for converting other religious people into our fold. We consider whatever may be the religion, Akashat Padidam Doya, Yadha Sagadam, Sarvadeva Namaskaram, Keshavam Pradigachadi. Whatever may be the God you are worshipping, whatever may be the pathway you are following in your life, all will be leading finally to the same point. <coughs> now, that approach got uh, derailed as far as Hindus are concerned. So now my request to you, remember that through the pathway of Dharma, through the Sattvic pathway, whomsoever has got converted into Christianity or Islam, we should bring them back to our Dharma. Any Hindu who is getting converted, you should involve in bringing him back to our religion, our Dharma, and Hindus uh, pardoned, Hindus uh, kept quiet, Hindus excused all these days the treachery performed by the other two religious group. So we should never follow that pathway nowadays. We should bring our people back and teach them our heritage, teach them about our literature, our dharma, and whatever needed will be available in the YouTube. The ultimate aim is to inform the truth about the Hindu Dharma to one end all with these words. Protecting our Dharma. Dharma Rekshati Rekshidaha. Dharma Meva Hato Habdi. Those who are protecting the Dharma will be protected by the Dharma. Those who are destroying the Dharma will be destroyed by the Dharma. So our duty is to protect the Dharma to preserve the Dharma, to enrich the Dharma, to refine the Dharma and make Hindu Dharma one of the most tolerant religion in the world. So our responsibility is to learn and teach Hindu Dharma with a proud confidence and self-esteem and self-respect to say that we are the only people who prayed Loka Samastha Sujinu Bhavandu. With these words, my pronouns to you. Thank you very much.